young women. Where were young women go and got a daughter almost 35 years old? Where were you? And you ain't had one yet. <laughs> Ain't that right? Where were you? But this is David living in. In the last days, perilous times are going to come up. I'm just giving y'all a little space of what, what the world is shaping up to be. These young preachers been preaching two years. No more than a preacher been preaching for it. God ain't gone. God wasn't gone. A knowledge. They were leaving by the nose. Hook in the nose. They're like a bull. Leaving. Thank you, Jesus. See? Where am I? That was Jesus asked Job. God told Job that. Where were you, Job? <laughs> Where am I? When I put stars in there. Where were you? I didn't see you. Job put his hand over his mouth. <laughs> Y'all gonna have church. They don't see you. Job put his hand over his mouth. I like, shut up. Thank you, Jesus. So we see here that walking with God, it takes patience. Take patience. Thank you, Jesus. Now, and the Bible tells us that the reason more to you. The believer must meet these trials with joy. For they will develop patience. Young people, listen to me. If you take your try and meet your trials with joy, if you remain faithful, you are gaining patience every time you come in. Be patient. Be patient. Wait. Be patient. Don't your coach tell you that? You'll get the shot, but be patient. Don't just go there and jack up a three. Be patient. Get a good, clear look. Make sure the man out of your face. Square up. Come on. Ain't no way to teach. Be patient and take it. Be patient and walk with God. Don't rush. Two ways the devil get people. He can get you to backslide, and I use the phrase front slide. He can get people to backslide or run so fast nobody can't tell them that they're running to a brick wall. Seen that too. I seen a many young preachers didn't make it. Running wide open. Nobody could slow them down. And they're all doing nothing today. Out in the world. Messed up. Thank you, Jesus. Our faith can only reach full maturity when faced with difficulties and opposition. Verse 3 and verse 4 in the same chapter. Peter, James said in verse 2, My brethren, count in all joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Different temptation. He said, don't you, don't, don't be discouraged. Count it all joy. Count it joy when you fall into diverse temptation. Knowing this, that the trying of your faith so I told you, faith will be tried. God don't tempt you to sin, but he'll try your truth. Then the trying of your faith, working patience, continue. Working patience. Then the Bible tells us, but let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. Now the Bible here, when it, when it talks about perfect to you, it means complete. It don't mean perfect like Jesus was. Jesus was literally perfect. Never sinned. Never fell short because he was God all <coughs> He is God. When the Bible references you as being perfect, He's talking about a mature person. You walk with God to the point you have grown to maturity. Paul said, when I was a child, thought as a child, acted like a child. He said, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. When we grow to maturity in the Lord, 
We drop childless babies. Look at these babies we got in here. They can walk, but they fall there once in a while because they're babies. As they grow, they'll start falling. Same thing with a new convert just getting saved. Every time you come to church, you'll learn something. I didn't know that was wrong, but now you know. Come the next time and preach. Well, I didn't know that was in the Bible, but now you know. What you doing? Growing. What you doing? Learning. What you doing? Pulling off and putting on. Thank you, Jesus. But let patience have a proper work. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God. That God giveth all men liberally and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Godly wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 12. Blessed is the man that endures temptation. Lord have mercy. Y'all believe the Bible? Amen. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. The apostle was tried on every hand. They were tried for preaching the word. It is, it, listen to me, this world system has got so bad that Paul wrote to Timothy in the last days, perilous time of God. Dangerous times in the church. What do you mean dangerous times? Men will be lovers of the self. You've never seen so many self-exalted church folks in your life. Self-exalted, self-love, selfishness, power hunger, lifted up in pride, my God. Everybody want power. God said, I give you Holy Ghost power, that's enough. But everybody want power over somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Power. Fighting for power. Pushing for power. Flesh. Lord have mercy. Paul said, do I seek to please men or God? I'm in the book. For if I seek to please men, I should not be the servant of the Lord. Listen, we ain't no man pleasing business. Do we might want to close the door and go on? Because flesh don't bring this book. You walk in the spirit, you bring me the book. Paul sought to please God. He told us to please God. I'd rather please God, be hated of man and woman, than to please man and God don't, and, be, and God angry with me. It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of God. Blessed is the man. Thank you, Jesus. Bible said, do not err, my beloved brethren. Don't err. Don't err. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above. And coming down from the Father of lights, with whom is no variableness, neither sh shadow of turning. Verse 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. For the wrath of man worketh not the righteousness of God. You see that? The anger of man don't, don't do not work the righteousness of God. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness, talking to church folk. Lay it aside, lay it apart. Thank you, Jesus. The Bible says, lay aside every sin. Talking to the church. And the weight which does so easily beset us. Get rid of it. That's the book. Lay aside. Remember the day now you can't hardly tell church folk from the world. You can't. It's an indictment against the body. Whirlwind pants. 
shouting folks got them on. 